This is course HET 194, NAEP Preparation. This week, this week one and two, we'll be discussing soft skills dealing with the HVC fill. The objectives for this week should help this student to discover the importance of ethical behaviors, appreciate the art of communication, learn the significance of using tools to help them with communication, and discern the necessity of good math skills. So the introduction of this week, the HVAC student, the technician, need to have a working knowledge of understanding the importance of working with their supervisors, co-workers, and customers. This is a proficiency that many people take for granted and struggle for years until they recognize and require the interpersonal skills needed to get along with others. Soft skills is a all-purpose term generally used to describe a set of skills that may have little to do with uh, a personal ability to do work on HVAC equipment, but that lack the soft skills can keep them from working in the field in the long term. These skills are the things that help the interpersonal relationships between the company and the customer, while the HVAC technician being the one directly uh, have the outcome of meeting with the customer. Therefore, both written and verbal communication, math skills, critical thinking, and ethical conduct are what drives the effectiveness of a good technician from a great technician. So the words we're going to go over this week that a technician should uh, know and learn is written communication, oral communication, listening, mathematics, personal ethics, and interpersonal relationships. So communication is basically a way to get a point across to someone else. However, there's many different ways to communicate. Uh, it could be a written or it could be verbal. Matter of fact, it could even be um, behaviors. You can communicate certain type of uh, behaviors to, or ways to different people. So communication is the process of transferring knowledge through many different types of forms. However, the use of verbal and written forms are the most desired ways to transfer information. One definition of communication is any act by which one person gives to or receives from another person information about that person's needs, desires, or perceptions knowledge and effectiveness of a state. So written communication is basically the progression of uh, communicating through uh, divided the different ways of writing down using uh, a form of uh, sending knowledge through to other people. So written is a way, is a concrete way that is once it's written down uh, the next person need to be able to understand exactly what is said or what is meant by the deliverer of the written message. So to have effective communication, it happens or occurs when a desired effect is the result of intentional or unintentional information sharing, which is interpreted between multiple entities and act on a, in a desirable way. This uh, effect also ensures the message are uh, not distorted during the communication process. So in other words is that to be effective in the communication you have to be extremely clear. It must have breadth to it which meaning that going to depth and to that if a person do not understand uh, clearly that you can uh, give different ways to transfer the knowledge to the next person. So oral communication is probably the primary way that most people will transfer information. And sometimes we call this spoken word, but oral communication is basically a, a person which is the source sending through audible sounds or words uh, messages to receivers and through this process 
a lot of times through face to face but of course these days there's many other ways to do it through cell phones uh, through uh, other ways to communicate uh, through intercom systems or even today using computers through uh, software like Skype to visually see the person and also hearing what they are saying. But one part of communication is transferring the information but the second part of it is actually receiving and that's what we call listening when it comes to uh, oral communication. So listening is often confused with hearing. Someone can hear you if they don't understand they are not listening. So while here is a, is a biological process that can be scientifically explained, listening is a, a neurological a cognitive uh, result regarding the process of uh, audible stimulation but the main thing is that understanding the information. <clears throat> so I got it on the computer.